In this video, I'm gonna give you a really underrated tip for your Mutt rosters. Really, this is also gonna go for your regular regs teams. If you're a CFM player, if you're a regs player, any of those, this is a fairly simple but fairly effective tip for your roster construction. And that is the ability to have an impact on all three phases of the game, one of which is special teams. So how do you actually have an impact on special teams? If you come over here to my lineup screen, what you're gonna notice is there are certain key positions that actually matter in terms of the special teams lineup. One of those key positions is your fullback. Your fullback, number one, is going to be that first player that they're going to kick the ball to. So as you can see here, I have Cordell Patterson with the return, return man ability at the fullback one position. Another position that's really valuable is the fridge raider or uh, fullback number two. This guy is going to be on uh, basically your up man in the kickoff game. So if they kick it short, he could have some impact as well. So I've got the fridge out there uh, with the return man ability. Now another, uh, in the in the same kind of quasi position is your tight ends. Your tight ends also have a little bit of an impact on the kickoff game. Your tight end number three and your tight end number two are on the kickoff roster. The Mike Ditka here, this legend card, you're gonna notice one of the fastest tight ends in the game. The other thing that's really good about this guy though is the fact that if you take a look here, you'll see that he has 80 hip power. So what I like to do is put players that have high hit power in these positions if I'm not going to be utilizing a two tight end system or a three tight end system in my main offense. Now another uh, key uh, uh, rating here or a depth chart position is your wide receiver number five. He's also involved on the kickoff return team uh, as well. And then that brings me to my next piece, which is defensively. What are the key positions um, in terms of you know being able to kind of have your biggest hit power players on the field. Uh, really, it's this kind of core structure here. Your backup free safety is going to be on your kickoff team. You want to put somebody with high hit power there. I've got Sean Taylor. He also gets Crusher for zero AP. In this year's Madden, there's a lot of players that get different types of big hitting abilities for zero or one AP or less. So you see here I have Sean Taylor, zero AP Crusher. Your backup linebackers, your middle linebacker number two, your right outside linebacker number two, and your left outside linebacker number two all play a part on the special teams unit. So as you can see, I've got Anthony Barr here. I think he has Enforcer. Uh, Bobby Wagner has Enforcer as well. And TJ Watt has Deflator, right? What big hit power guy or what big ability can I get on the on the special teams unit is actually a really big, important piece. You'll cause fumbles on special team. You'll also be much less likely to give up touchdowns on special teams because you're going to have better players on the field. Uh, strong safety number two is another one, just like free safety number two. Uh, this is going to be a gunner on your kickoff team. I've got John Lynch with Crusher there. And then another kind of key to uh, two guys is Ronnie Law and actually Sammy Knight. Now, there's a brand-new Sammy Knight. I'm going to get his card uh, probably later today. But both of these guys have zero AP Crusher. And what's really valuable is your whoever is your cornerback number three or your cornerback number four, kind of same thing as that free safety piece where they're going to be gunners on your kickoff team. So if you can get players in these positions that have either high, pit, high hit power or have zero AP crusher or zero AP deflator or zero AP enforcer, if you can get those players in and they fit within your theme team, they're actually super valuable um, in terms of just ensuring that your special teams is well equipped. Uh, to be able to go. Now, I do have uh, Randall Cunningham at punter, and then I have Justin Tucker at kicker here, kind of standard. Uh, kickoff return man number two. This guy is basically in the way that this is going to be structured. I believe that this guy will be like the fullback if they kicked it to the left side. So if they high kick it and they kick it to the right, then it'll go to your fullback number one. If they high kick it and kick it to the left, it'll go to your kick returner number two. So if you can get a guy here, um, I think the cornerback Deion Sanders would actually be a better guy to put here because he has zero AP evasive. But if you can get another good fast guy here, it's just going to help make sure that that wherever they kick the ball, you have threats of potential kick return games. So this is just a quick little tutorial just in terms of how do you actually maximize your roster a little bit in terms of where do you actually put players. Again, the hot spots, in my opinion, are your backup uh, safety positions, free safety two and strong safety two, your backup linebacker positions right outside linebacker two, middle linebacker two, and left outside linebacker number two as well as your backup corners, cornerback number three, cornerback number four. If you 
can get those guys with as many uh, hit high hit power or really good uh, hit sticking abilities, then it's really going to help you, I think, in the long run in your special teams game. So just a quick little tutorial for that. If you guys want to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you join the Patreon. Um, we're dropping ebooks literally every single week, offensive and defensive ebooks. So make sure to join that. Ten bucks gets you access to everything over there. We released over twenty five different offenses and defenses this year. So make sure to go check out the Patreon. I guarantee you that it will help you become a better Madden player.